So it's looking like rain, but still wanted to get out of here and get on the bike. I've got some rain gear. There's dark clouds over there. So today I wanted to talk about tires and inner tubes. I'm currently running these GP5000 race tires, non-tubeless. And I've got these TPU Tubalito inner tubes. Hoping I don't get a puncture. Fingers crossed. So I've got some race tires on my other bikes. I've got Schwalbe Pro 1 tubeless on my race bike. I've ridden GP5000 tubeless before, but the tubes, I always got punctures. So hopefully, we don't get punctures on this one. A little bit of a test. We'll have to find some glass to ride through. Get out of the busy road while we're psycho vlogging here. It is super dark, super dark skies right now. Put this bike on my easy setting, 46.19. So it's nice and easy up the hills. Still got e-bikes flying by. But since I haven't been riding that much, I figured to make it a little bit easier. It also feels weird because I'm wearing Vans Old Schools and cycling kit, but hey, it works. And this is the JMZ train. It comes, it goes over this bridge. It's kind of cool. If you're into riding trains and you haven't ridden the JMZ train over the Williamsburg Bridge, it's pretty sweet. We'll see. I'll try to get some nice shots. Like I was saying before, 46, 19. Usually on the 17, but decided to be on the 19 today. It's been a couple weeks since I rode the bike. Let's go chase that train. There it goes. Hill's getting a bit hard. Descent into
So while I'm sitting here trying to finish up this video, I realized that the last clip, I must have accidentally hit something on the touchscreen on my GoPro and it turned it into time warp. So the last clip is super fast, super sped up. I'm sitting there, my face is, I'm, I'm talking super fast. Everything is in super fast forward. Another user error, another error ID 10T. Twice in the same week. I was just closing out the vlog, talking about how we have one more hill, that hairpin turn coming up the Queensboro Bridge going from Manhattan to Queens. I was also mentioning how the Tubalitos seem to be holding up pretty well. These are my other wheels, my other Wabi wheels that I have set up for light gravel. The combination of the Tubelito Orange TPU inner tubes and the GP5000 tubed version from Continental seems like it's overall working so far. Fingers crossed, no punctures yet. Feels really good, feels really fast, great to climb on, great to sprint on, holds a lot of speed. I'm hoping that I'm able to actually keep them and I don't get a whole bunch of punctures like I did last time I was on the tubed version of the GP5000, just with standard inner tubes. I'm gonna wrap it up for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate each and every single one of you. Hopefully see you tomorrow. And as always, have a great day. Bye.